can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I gotta go away. Baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been, been hoping that you so dropped very in. Nice. I'll hold your hands. They're just like ice. Beautiful. What's your hurry? So this is what my natural hair looks like. It's very curly, frizzy, and seriously untamable. But if you have hair like me, the first step is to straighten out your hair. So the tool I'm using to achieve this is actually not a flat iron, it is a heat brush. Now when you're doing vintage hairstyles, I highly recommend staying away from flat irons because from my experience, it can make your hair have less volume, make it harder to work with later, make your ends look crispy, and will make the hairstyle lose its overall form faster. So a heat brush or even a blow dryer is the best option. Now many places do sell these types of brushes and many of them don't actually work, so be careful where you get them. In case you're wondering, I got mine at Vanity Planet and they run for about $35 if you get them with the promotion, so it's a steal. I'm going to be linking that down below for you guys. So moving on to the curls, I'm using a basic curling wand. The brand doesn't matter as long as the size is correct. The size of the wand depends on how long your hair is. The shorter your hair is, the smaller the wand you're going to need. So you have to do your curls in a very specific way. You want all the curls curling downward. So when you're doing the left side of your face, point the wand to the back wall. And then wrap the hair over the wand. Then after a few seconds, or whenever you start feeling your hair getting hot, remove the wand. Now quickly, either pin the curl to your head with a bobby pin, which I'll show you how to do later, or use a velcro roller like I'm doing here. And the reason why you're doing this is because it's going to allow the curls to cool off in a curl position without gravity pulling it loose. The longer you keep it in, the longer the curls will last. So for the right side of your face, point the wand to the front wall instead of the back wall and wrap the hair over. You're just going to repeat the exact same steps as the last time. So once you do each side of your head, take down your bangs. Find out roughly where you want your parting to be and curl with the same rules applying. Now to pin them down, I recommend using bobby pins instead of velcro rollers because you want them to be tighter than a barrel size. All you want to do is wind the curl up again and pin it to your head. It doesn't really have to be neat, just needs to be secured. Now for the back of your head, you want your curls also pointing down, so you want to lay the wand straight across your head and wrap the hair over the same way. So as you can see, all of the curls are going in the same downward direction. So now you have to wait. I like to wait around 30 minutes to an hour. One hour later. Do you believe in love, the love? Okay, so when you're done being a fool, remove everything from your hair. So the secret to making your curls super shiny, smooth, moldable, and basically perfect, I highly recommend using the Suavecita pomade. It's literally meant for vintage hairstyles and it's my absolute favorite. So you want to rub that through your hair like you would any other gel, and if you don't have access to this particular product, you can use a men's pomade, but you might smell like a dude. <laughs> 
Alright, so now we want to get that iconic pulled back side. Just use a comb and brush it as flat as you can against your head. If it's not sitting flat or if you have any flyaways, use hairspray to help you. And then once you have it all flat and pretty, you want to pin it down by your ear. I'm using a bobby pin, but you can use actually a fancy hair clip and it'll look even better. Now for the bangs, I decided to do a romantic gelled wave. To create this look, you want to take your middle finger and lay your hair tightly against your head. Then go down an inch from that point and scrunch both points together. Use your other finger to hold down the second point. So you should have hair squeezed in between your two fingers. Then you want to take some pins and pin them down where your fingers are. Now the closer your pins are scrunched together, the more dramatic that wave is going to be. So that is up to you and your preference, but I like them to look more natural so I didn't scrunch it so tightly. Then you just want to repeat that same step. Now when they are all pinned down, just pull the center out and adjust to make sure the wave is obvious. So now you have to wait and let that set. Meanwhile, we're going to be brushing out our hair. So you want to use a comb for this, not a brush. And you want to just basically comb your hair through. And don't be afraid, your curls will not fall, so you're fine. For the back and the sides, you want to comb your hair flat against your head on the top and let the curls sit in a little cloud at the ends. And to form this cloud, you just want to scrunch it with your hands and tuck it inward. Because we have that pomade in our hair, your hair is going to easily mold into this hairstyle. After that, you want to take your pins out, and if your wave is coming up in any places, bobby pin them under to anchor them down. And lastly, load up on the hairspray girl. You're going to need quite a bit of it. That way it stays in place all day. So just a tip for this hairstyle, big sparkly earrings look absolutely amazing. My particular ones are handmade by Sneaky Peek on Instagram. She does make handmade jewelry and most of them are vintage. So if you're interested, I'll link her shop down below. So now you're done and ready for the party. So what do you guys think? Would you do this hairdo? Comment down below and let me know if you would. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe because I don't really do this. I usually do transformations into characters or celebrities. So if you guys are into that, subscribe down below for more and I will see you guys in my next video.